How vast is our universe? How can astrophysicists assume that we have discovered this amount of space only if we do not know how vast is our universe? So, we have the cosmic horizon, which is the observable universe, which is the furthest we can look with uh, any instrument that we have. And that's about 46 billion light years away. So, uh, let me share an image with you. So, this here is an is an approximate representation of this. So the size, the present size of the observable universe is about 46 billion light years. We know this because that's how far we can see. We can calculate the distance using uh, techniques such as redshift, in which uh, light is it gets its uh, wavelength gets stretched out as it travels because of the expansion of space time. So we can calculate how far away a certain object is based on the redshift that we see in the in the light spectra from that object, for example, a distant galaxy. So we know that the cosmic horizon, the observable horizon, the size of the observable universe is about 46 billion light years in diameter. It's a sphere of, of radius, 46 billion light years. The amount of this, of this observable universe that we can actually reach at the speed of light is about 13.8 light years. Uh, or if you just uh, consider the expansion of space time, etc., it would be about 14.5 billion light years. So that's how far we can send light. Further than that, we cannot even send light because the universe is expanding further than that. It speeds faster than light itself. Now, how f how large is the actual universe? Well, we don't have any clue at all. The actual universe, which lies beyond the cosmic horizon, could be enormous. And we can only speculate, and even those speculations will be, will be baseless because we have no observational evidence or data or any sort of uh, fundamental understanding of what would be a tentative or rough size of the universe that lies beyond the cosmic horizon. So we don't know. It could even be infinite. Who knows? We don't know right now. So we are limited by our observations, by our limitations to observing a, a slice, a, a certain portion of the actual universe, and that is a sphere of radius 46 billion light years. So we, we don't assume that we have discovered a certain amount of space. We can calculate it using techniques such as redshift. So we know how far is the furthest uh, object that we have ever seen, which is a, a very distant and a very faint galaxy. And also there's another technique. We, there is something called cosmic microwave background radiation, which is something I'll go into later. That also gives us a certain kind of uh, certain kind of handle on how old the universe is and certain parameters of the universe. So we have these different disparate clues, and we use these clues to put together a rudimentary uh, tentative understanding of the universe. And and what we have achieved in the past century or so has been significant progress. We understand the universe reasonably well. We have uh, we have good, uh, reasonably good theory of how the universe uh, formed the so-called Big Bang theory. We have the standard model of particle physics. We have the theory of general relativity, and we have quantum mechanics. So all of these put together give us a good idea of how the universe actually is. 